This smartphone can record all the way to 4K 30, but in wide angle lens, only full HD, which is hmm, not that great in 2024. Wide angle, video stabilization in full HD. No wonder it's great. If you want to vlog from this smartphone using the main lens in full HD wide angle, this is how it's going to look like. There you go. It looks much crisper. Crisper image. Again, a vlogging from the main lens in 4K 30. How's the video stabilization? Let's continue. Running. Wow. Now we do have a really nice weather today. Let's zoom. Two, three, four, five, six. Six X. That's the zoom for you. And let's go back. Let's move to another part of this ridge. Another side. Huh. Ah. All right, out of focus, in the main lens, of course, available. Wide angle, not available in full HD, come on, come on, Poco, not available. Telephoto, also in 4K, 30, available. Front facing camera, full length of my arm, gonna go all the way to full HD 60 frames per second out of focus not available they say it's a flagship experience flagship killer no it is not <laughs> definitely not in the camera department in the video department but what about other features let's see we do have pro mode for video and photo, you can switch in there, in 4K, I can see. Also a microphone on the top. There's, there's a frame rate exposure aspect ratio, if you, if you wanted to do. Widescreen, cinema mode, flash, auto exposure, histogram, and stuff like that. Documents, video, and like I said, 4K 30, that's maximum aspect ratio. Teleprompter is very nice. You can upload your file with a text and uh, read it during the recording. <clears throat> All right. Photo. How much zoom are we going to have in photo? Probably much more than in a video. That's 10x, but that is a electronic zoom. All right, let's go back. Wow, very nice tracking. Bam. Impressive. Very nice. Night mode, but it's day. Short film, if you wanted to. Uh, how do I go back? Time lapse panorama, 64 megapixel and slow motion, 64 megapixel. Zoom. Mm, okay. Okay, my friend. Okay. Slow motion. It's time for photos. And bear in mind, there will be a link in the description for you to download original sample photo and video without any compression. Main lens, a little bit oversaturated. Wide angle, undersaturated. This one looks pretty good. Um, that was standing below the light. So, uh, yeah, I think it all depends on the light conditions. But that blur effect, oof. It looks artificial. It doesn't look like book effect from the like, big lens now. Also, night mode. Look how the top of the picture is extremely sharp. I mean, not extremely. It is sharp. Very nice. But the bottom, all those cars are blur. Out of focus. Very strange. Night. Again, the same thing. The middle of the photo is out of focus. The top of the tree, that's a great sharp image at the top. In the middle, out of focus. Hmm. Why? That is the question. Also, again, you all have to have a extremely steady hands to have a beautiful sharp photo at night. Hmm. 
night mode and look how blow out are those numbers Oof. that is not great at all what happened here with the uh, sky <laughs> the building looks great but the sky looks a bit strange all right if you have a lot of light in the frame then uh, the picture will come out great like this one very sharp very nice also sharp in the middle so it must be a light conditions but all those pictures are looking out of focus again. Um, like from a smartphone. You see, flagship smartphones are big lenses and they look way, way better. The big lens is the way to go. This one is a tiny lens. Because it, it is not designed specifically for the camera. It's designed for gaming, so... You will have some... Blur. Experience with those photos. Okay, I guess I'm going again. First, I don't know. Mixed feelings. 64 megapixels if we zoom. It's okay. Let's, let's move on. But the question is, how good is it in gaming? That will be in a full review, which is coming soon, probably tomorrow. And I think that's all I have. Thanks for watching and see you next video. Bye.